Hello and welcome to Conquering Mom Scrap More with Brenda. I'm Brenda and we're here today to show you part two of Stand With the Ukraine quilt. This will be the B block on your your quilt, your quilt along. It's just a mini. It's like three episodes and we're, we get it done really fast. When I actually sat down and sewed this quilt, it took me one afternoon, but we're going to give it to you over three sessions. So come on in a little closer. We're going to get this sew along started and here's your block two. Okay, this is block B. Now this block is yellow and blue, but this is three and a half by six and a half. These are two inches by six and a half, all four of them. You need four of these. And like I say, I went from blues pretty much all over the place. And then you need uh, nine and a half by two and a half, two of them, and then a, a two and a half and a ten and a half. Right? So basically you're making an elongated courthouse steps again, but from last week, the two and a half inch strips were in the middle. Now the two inch strips are in the middle. So let's get started sewing this. And this, like I say, I, when I was doing this, I'll just move this out of the way a bit. I was surprised how fast these blocks came together. And I was sewing as if I was on a mission, I guess. And uh, they were a lot of fun to put together. There's um, another, one of my subscribers, Anel, she told me that if you buy something from the artisans, uh, when you go into Etsy, I guess, let's go into Etsy first. When you go shop there, you can sort by region, uh, region of the world, and if you download a digital pattern, from these artisans they get the money right away and I think the banks and all this stuff are closed it would help if it helps these people out these ladies out I think that's an important thing that we can do even if we're not designing or anything like this um, Pat Sloan also has a UNICEF link and um, she's viewed by lots and lots of people. If you haven't heard from Pat, Pat Sloan, I'll put a note there. G. Goodrin from D GE Designs has also got lots of links for, uh, you know, people to call for, uh, you know, donations or whatever and standing with the Ukraine. Um, Bonnie Hunter has also come up with um, a block. They're just beautiful to stand with the Ukraine. And I believe it's all string blocks, but it's just gorgeous. I have to take a better look at her stuff. I love her stuff too. And there we go. Uh, I know, finger press it open. I do a lot of finger pressing in here. Then I wonder why my nails don't grow because <laughs> I'm wearing them off. <laughs> it's like a cat scratching at your furniture, right? I'm in here finger pressing all the time. There. Okay, there we go. I just line up this. Make sure that doesn't flip the wrong way. I don't want to create a bump if I don't have to. There we go. And now I'll get the next. Oh, the foot fell off again with the foot. Now I need to figure out a way of tightening that screw so the feet don't fall off. And it usually is okay. Now, I'm going to start with the signs here. I'll line it all up again so you can see where I'm at. See, I'm lining up the signs. So the first sign I'm going to do is this. What you want is contrast between your blues, right? Like if you have something, you know, medium, you want to put either something dark beside it or something light, you know. But you're pulling from all the full range of your blues, you know, in this quilt. Or at least I chose to. I figured, well, the flag is a pretty... I love the, the, the color palette of this flag. So this was kind of a heartfelt thing to do. Anyways, this is going to remain a free pattern um, on my channel. I do ask that if you use this pattern, that you um, make a contribution to help these people. It's a very, very sad time there 
and I would imagine they need a lot of help. So this is what how I'm doing this. So now, here's a fun little box that uses up some of your scraps. You can do this totally scrappy too if you wanted. We don't need a blue and yellow coat. You can do it scrappy and it's it works out well. Okay, last two pieces are going on. This quilt I did ten blocks of each. The block A and block B. And I had because I had my yeah, I'll just set it up for you again. So because I had both my um, my two inch strips cut and I had everything pre-cut, I sat down and sewed all all of them except for these two blocks within an afternoon. So this does come together very quickly. And if you had just leftover random scraps of you know, uh, jelly rolls or two inch strips that you didn't know what to do with, then at least you've got something now that you can work with. And it goes together exactly like the courthouse step, but then we, we change it. We change it. We change it. We make it ours. I don't know why courthouse step came into mind when I was thinking of what to do, but. And the last piece goes on. And there we go. There we go. Get it started. Line up your other end. Make sure your seam doesn't flip the wrong way. Okay. So this is the last seam. Now, what I do is I just finger press this for now so you can see what, what this looks like. And all my blocks are different. All the courthouse steps, blocks A's and B's, they all are different. They all have different centers. They all have, you know, strips and whatnot in different places. So I would give this a good press. It's going to measure 10 and a half by 13 and a half, unfinished. So all the cutting instructions are down below. So here's block B of our Stand With Ukraine's mini sew along. You can see this is a very traditional courthouse step so that's just been simply elongated. But this is not the block you work with. You can if you want to do this, you can, but we're going to do a little twist to it here. So come on back next week, we'll show you how to put all these blocks together and your quilt together. Very simple, free pattern. If you use the pattern, please make a donation to help the people in Ukraine. Okay, we hope you have a wonderful, blissful week ahead. Okay, bye! Thank you for watching our video today. We are just overjoyed with how our channel has grown. And um, we would like you to share, like, and subscribe these videos with your friends and other, other people. Uh, this is one of the quilts that we might are considering at, at this time to do a sew along for. It is um, a crazy original scrappy design that was made with too much co coffee and too many granola bars and it's a lot of fun to do and it, it is a really good scrap buster. So share, like, subscribe, tell your friends about us. Uh, our plan for 2022 is two different sew alongs for sure and two different case studies and we're going to do uh, try and do a thing on uh, grouping on uh, strings and crumbs and then another one on curves. So we've got rather an ambitious 2022 planned for you here. So like I say, I hope you come back, have a great week ahead and we'll talk to you later. Bye!